Maybe it's just an arbitrary walk along the way, right? So you could, uh, you know, Nathan Lure says, I was on the money. Nathan Lure was more on the money than me. He had more faith in this outcome. That's true. Who's the only lawyer said that was going to get dismissed? This one. That's true, Nate. You were much more, you were much more optimistic than I was in this outcome. I thought this was the less likely outcome. Nate did think this was the more likely outcome. So Nate was the one. Nate was the one who's predicting this would occur. I wanted it to occur, but Nate was the only one willing to say it would occur. So, you know, hey, good for you, Nate. I am on mute. Yes, this is Nate the Lawyer. Yes, sir, I saw I was muted, but it is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. As you can see, I'm not in where I'm usually at. I'm right now in a hotel, in a conference room. You know, looking good, feeling good. It's a, it's a pretty good day. It's a pretty good day. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Chilling today. I was like, there's no way this case is going to end today. I didn't think there was no way this case was going to end today. I, I didn't think. I was like, uh, but it's tough. It's tough, right? It's going to be tough. It's tough for Halo Beauty. $300,000. 300, you know, about, I'm assuming it's going to, this, this case must have been, you're talking about Salsa's time, Brown's time. This is a lot of money spent on this case. A lot of money spent. It's not even nine o'clock yet. I started early because. To be honest with you, I'm just in unfamiliar territory. I don't know how long they want to keep me in here so I can get out of here. No sound. People can't hear. Uh-oh. No sound. Can't hear. I don't know. StreamYards is telling me I got sound. I'm checking audio right now. Yeah, StreamYards is I got five bars right now. Five bars. If you can't hear me, sorry. Brent is saying no sound. Oh, oh my God. You, you don't know. You don't know personal jurisdiction. See, I know a lot of people are here because they're like, damn, how come Nate, you know, I, I'm on a, I'm, listen, I hate to gloat, but I'm on a hot streak. Like, we talking about what, this is like 10 straight in a row? For those of you who don't know, Robert Barnes, he predicted Supreme Court would take the Texas case. They had standing. I went through a very simple analysis, told them it didn't have standing. They're going to throw the case out. They did. Time and time, those are election cases. This was going to be thrown out for this. This was going to be thrown out for this. I've been going all around, right? Throwing it out. Everything's being thrown out. I'm calling it. This is going to be thrown out for this. But this case, I'm not going to pretend. Let's not, let's not pretend. This wasn't a 100%. This was going to happen, right? We give percentages. I know Emily and I know Kurt. They said jurisdiction was a toddy win, right? I told them I, I thought jurisdiction was weak. I thought... If Brown did one thing, thank God Brown challenged jurisdiction. Because I thought that was the weakest part of the case. I thought that was the weakest part of the case. So as I gloat in my streak, the active streak, I feel like this is like this is a this is a real serious streak, right? I'm talking about it. I've been nailing them like this is, you know, 
it's like the judge is coming to me and asking me, write the ruling here, right? Because this ruling on the KJP case was just like if I wrote it. And as you heard on Civil Law say at the opening of the show, and it was the only one that went out and called it. Are you at a convention? No, no, no. I'm on vacation with the fam. I'm on vacation with the fam. I was actually going to do, do one tomorrow from the room, but then I was like, ah, you know what? I'll just do it today. Nate, are you going to have to increase your rate? I might have to. I might have to. Um, this, this, is, this is... Now, I'm going to say it. I am going to say it. I was told when this first case first happened, right? When this case first happened, I was told I was at I was what? What is it? A KJ? I was a KJ. Sick, first, I was a KJ sicker fan because I said, you know, she was my friend. Then it was like my legal analysis was all, you know, biased toward KJ, right? And even after Brown, Bra let's just be be honest. Brown came out that mess. That motion to dismiss was a goddamn mess. I'm going to say it. It was shit. Brown lucked up and won this case, right? He won this motion to dismiss. This was this was not skill. This was just luck, straight up and down, right? More or less, the judge used the reasoning from, <laughs> from, from uh, Toddy's complaint to throw out this case. But we'll get there. We'll get there. But, yeah, I'm just letting people get in here because I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. It's, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, it's, you know what, one of the toughest things about giving legal analysis here on, on YouTube is that there is a bias. Obviously, everybody has a bias. You know, K Katie, whatever, like, you know, no matter what anybody says, I've known a woman for a couple of years. She's always been cool with me. I know she does some messed up stuff. Katie, you do bad stuff. You, know, you hurt people. People aren't, aren't happy with you. So I, I understand that. You know, you can't, you, you know, I don't throw people out with the bathwater. She's been good to me. She's been cool. If she's done bad things to other people, you know, this, 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 I'll say you bad. That's no good, you know, but I always think you, you challenge stuff like that with love. You know, hey, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You walk the straight and narrow. And hopefully, if you listen, if she don't, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's on her. But it is what it is. But in evaluating cases like this, just straight up defamation cases, let's just call it what it is. You straight up, they are very hard to win, even on the merits. But this was personal jurisdiction. And personal jurisdiction is not something that's just easy to win, right? You have to, the simple fact of the matter is, to haul someone from a state from across the country into a Washington court from Minnesota was going to be tough. Now, I understand there was a lot of people out there who just hated KJ and just was like, yo, she defamed the woman. She had a better, you know, Toddy got a better attorney. It's over. But that's just not what happened here, right? Because again, eventually, no matter how good your attorney is, the law is the law. And when I evaluated this, I said the defamation was BS, right? Even if, let's, let's say if they do go refile this in, in Minnesota, I think the defamation is worse than the jurisdiction. You think, you know, I'm thinking defamation is like 70 30 she wins, right? I'm thinking that's even worse than I predicted this. I predicted it would be dismissed on this. But I think if it goes to the merits, if they were to refile, they're going to spend $150,000 on a bullshit defamation case. Let's, let's just call it. I understand people feel like there's hope. Oh, you know, James may not. No. If if they refile in Minnesota, Toddy Westbrook is going to throw away another $150 to get it dismissed over there for a failure to state a claim because the defamation case is weak, too. I understand. I understand a lot of people got hope for the defamation case. So be it. But, you know, it's it's funny because when you go through these things, a lot of the times the problem is, is that people get so emotionally involved in these cases and you can't see the forest for the trees, right? You just don't like the defendant. So everybody says, you know this, but at the end of the day, it's about the law. You know, you can't just sue somebody across the country and just hold them into a court and say, you know, this is, you know, until watch the court. That's just, that it just doesn't happen. And that's why I kept saying this case is likely going to be dismissed on jurisdiction, right? Lack of, you know, it's just not fair to the defendant. So, before, you know, hopefully enough people got up in here before I get started. But, you know, that's just my little thing at the beginning. Thank you on civil law for saying that. I know somebody, is, I got a couple of people was like, you know, KDJ didn't give you no credit. She don't have to give me no credit, right? She knows. KJ knows. I'm the only one. I was the only attorney here who's following this thing, who said that it was likely that this was going to go out on jurisdiction, right? Nobody else was really saying that. And I was saying, I'm also saying, you know, take a picture of it. If it goes to the merits, this is probably going to get thrown out too for failure to state a claim. You know, 
The defamation case is just be it just it it's don't get me wrong, and I want to be very clear. Saltsy wrote an excellent complaint. I think he he litigated this case as best you could for what you had. And if I had an attorney, I would rather Saltz than Brown. Those are all true statements. But at the end of the day, you can't, you know, you can only bullshit for so long. So I I I, I do think that they may they are gonna refile. If they got the money, hey, you know, they got money to burn. They just burnt, I think, about $150. I think it's something like here. I think they just burnt $150,000 on this case, right? The Toddy Westbrook. So if they got that, that money to burn on this, they're probably going to continue to burn it. But at, at, a, at, a, at a point, you got to think to yourself, like, you know, is it worth me to spend another $150,000 to get this thing thrown out? No. KJ, say you are right. When she stops confusing us, that's true. She thinks she does confuse us. Two angry black men, right? Two angry black men. <laughs> you see, and drag, you see, one super chat. One super chat. I appreciate it. I appreciate the super chat. Mm. Unity right there. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Because I know you guys want to hear what I got to say about this. But I'm not going to be on this too long. So I'm going to be sipping through. And listen, I, I got to do two things before we get into this, right? For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Nate the Lawyer, lawyer, YouTuber, you know. The bio's up there. Number one, if you want to go through this thing line by line by line, I suggest you go see. First, my man, Uncivil Law, great thing. He reads it line by line, word by word. He breaks the whole thing down. He is uh, the master of breaking down these cases, Uncivil Law. Number two, you know, not, not this is not in any type of order. Emily D. Baker, she is phenomenal, phenomenal. I watch her stuff. I watch it. I'm civil law stuff. If you the best to do it, the best at it. So, you know, go check out their stuff. They are amazing. I watch their stuff all the time. They are two of the best. I like Nick Ricky. I like, you know, I like them all. But I'm telling you, if you want to get the details about this case, those are the people you should be looking at, right? Because they'll break it. They've got line by line. Go watch their stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. But let's get into this. Now, for all the haters out there, I know there's a lot of haters out there. And, you know, hey, listen, thanks for watching, right? You, you, you keep the lights on. This is, this is because of the haters. Thank you. The, thank you for the haters. Thank you. But the hate, as you can see, when it comes to reasoned analysis of the law, that's why you come here. All right. So let me pull this up on the screen. Boom. We are going to go right into it right now because I, I think I've given enough people time to get up in here. My 200 people. So here we go. Order granting defendants motion to dismiss for lack of personal jurisdiction. Boom. Now, any questions, please hit me. Now, any questions, I, if I see them in the chat, I am definitely going to try to answer them. If I, if you hit me with a super chat, it pops up in like these flashing lights and all that stuff. So it's easy to see, not necessary, but super chats, obviously they get preference. Other questions, I'll try to get to them when I can. That's just the way it goes because I'm on stream yards. So let's get to it and let's watch this. Now, again, again, I just want to make it very clear. This was, this is, you know. Getting the prediction right or wrong, it happens with any case, right? Nobody really can predict what's actually going to happen. I just made my prediction based on what I know about personal jurisdiction and law and defamation cases. And this, this is what it was about, right? When I said, I think, first it was 70-30, then Kurt convinced me a little bit more. And I was like, all right, but 64, this was going to be thrown out on personal jurisdiction. And the reason is, is because it's just hard to sue somebody who's in another state on based on you know some some YouTube stuff you know that the person sent me a super chat and happened to be in Washington that doesn't mean a Washington court can hold me in a Washington to sue me right that doesn't mean that that's kind of what this case was about I kind of called it and I was I've been saying that every video right you know it's not it doesn't make sense that I'm in New York and somebody in Alaska can send me a super chat and they can hold me to a goddamn Alaska court and sue me that just don't make no sense and that's what this case was about this case was about somebody in Washington suing somebody. And trying to hold them in over a super chat, you know, Lori and super chatting me a couple. No, no, that just wasn't working. That just wasn't working. Um, don't vex 
the judge unnecessarily. It really ends well. But occasionally it helps um, put some money in the council's pockets. Reputation is what it is. Hey, Brown got, Brown got paid. Brown, Brown got, now listen, I'm going to, let, let's just keep it real though. You know, because this is, this is my keep it real night, right? Why? Because I don't really care. I'm keeping it real. Brown didn't really win this case, right? Brown, to be honest with you, Brown is Brown was a, was a disaster. Brown was my little Brown. All those five, I know KJ is saying, I'm happy with Brown. Praise Brown. But when I get Brown bill, I'm going through that bill. What the hell? You know, like all the, think about this. All those last motions that the motion to qualify, motion for this, motion, all that stuff was irrelevant, right? There was no jurisdiction here. The judge don't even have to look at that. So all that was unnecessary. Motion for sanctions. Throw that out. That's been thrown out, as you'll see here. That's what I'm talking about. Brown, you know, I don't know if Brown was just charging her up or whatever. But, you know. And um, I don't know. Some people some people were asking, do I think this is going to happen again? Uh, will they do a round two? If Saltz is as good as I think Saltz is. I think Saltz is a fantastic. I want to make it very clear. I think Saltz is probably the best defamation attorney on the planet, right? Saltz. If Saltz is advising his client, I think he's going to, hey, listen, you're going to have to just probably spend another $150,000, right, in this thing. And there's no, and it's a 50-50 shot if we get through another motion to dismiss. It's 50-50. And she's not going to have Brown, right? Brown ain't going to mess this one up. Why? Because Brown, he probably, she's not going to bring him from, um, oh, but she might though. But we don't, we're not going to have Brown. We're going to be doing this again. Do, do we want to put another $150,000 to keep Katie quiet with her 140,000 subscribers? Only thing we did was give her more subscribers, right? In the case, here, she told me she only got 134. She got 140 now. They helped her get 5,000 more subs because of this case. Let me stop monologuing and get to this thing because y'all ain't come here to see me monologue. But just to let you know who's right on this one, you know, who's right. Boom. Let's just jump into it. All right. Order granting it. So, let me let me let me let me do this right. Let me let me not short shift because I'm I'm sitting here having fun, sipping on some wine, just just feeling good. Let's start. Let's let let me start off with this so everyone who who doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about can understand. Toddy Westbrook. No, well, you know what? It's it's in here. Let's just let me just read it. What the hell am I talking about? I'm about to go go over it. Just read it. The, the the damn judge wrote it. Here we go. So let's start here. This matter comes before the court on a motion to dismiss filed by Katie Joy Paulson and without a crystal ball, LLC. On and on a motion for sanctions also filed by the defendant. The motion to dismiss set forth multiple grounds for, for dismissal, including lack of personal jurisdiction, lack of diversity jurisdiction, failure to join the third parties, and failure to state a claim which belief can be granted. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Motion for sanctions seeks award and plaintiffs get all that stuff, right? Plaintiff Tati Westbrook, Halo Beauty, blah, blah, blah. Um, having, reviewed the part, having reviewed the party's briefs and support in the, and in opposition to the motion, the relevant exhibits in case law, and the remainder of the record, the court grants defendant's motion to dismiss for lack of personal jurisdiction that denies the defendant's motion for sanctions. The court's reasoning follows. So that's a nice little just opener so we can get all into it. Here's a nice little super chat. Those additional motions were totally relevant to increasing Brown's fees. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. Easily 150 to 200 K bill coming KJ's way with another 150,000 on the horizon if it gets refiled in Minnesota. Hashtag losing. You should you say winning. It's hashtag losing. Yeah. Yeah. What's the 200 K to Toddy to her like spending a dollar? No, shit, not when, it, not when it comes in bunches like this. $200,000 a hit for anybody. I'm sorry. $200,000 a hit for anybody. Any sane person, at least. I'm not throwing $200,000 away. But I don't got it like that. So, look, I'm, I'm still asking for super chats. Factual background. Let me put this up here so you can see my face. Factual background. Let's do it. All right. So, she goes into Toddy Westbrook, self-proclaimed internet personality, yada, 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 Nevada, husband, James Westbrook, whatever. For the purpose of the Westbrook's claim, they were at all relevant times domiciled in Kings County, Washington. So they're saying plaintiffs are from Washington. Defendant Katie Joy, resident of Minnesota, company from Minnesota, I mean, Minnesota, so they all Minnesota. So see here, estimated 135,000 YouTube followers, 
the Westbrook, she had, I think, 9 million, over 9 million followers. So we got 9 million on YouTube, 130,000. And that's one thing. I'm like, why the hell would you sue somebody with this, with, 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 with so many, she has almost no subscribers compared to this. Why sue this? I don't know, but she sued her. All right, so we're going through here. According to the complaint starting May 2019, defendant have uploaded to YouTube and Twitter dozens of videos targeting the Westbrooks and Halo designed to ruin Miss Westbrook's good name and reputation. These videos were presented as exposés covering the range of subjects, including one, the public dispute between Westbrooks and rival fellow beauty YouTuber James Charles. James Charles makes, makes another cameo in the filing. Um, the safety and efficacy of Halo vitamin products, which Ms. Paulson referred to as snake oil, and the personal and business history of the Westbrooks, including alleged legal discrepancies, business failures, and for a lawsuit filed in October 2020 in Los Angeles Superior Court by plaintiff's business partner, Clark Swanson, against Halo Beauty. So the court, I think, just, you know, just going through the whole background and all that stuff just to make sure what is up so i want to move to the legal arguments because we know who these people are we know the background we know what's happening according she's seeking five million dollars in damages all right all right all right so we got through that so if you watched oh audio is bad uh oh let me check the audio audio is bad let me let me check this audio make sure we're all good again test 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 mic check Hello, audio, audio. All right, maybe I got to get close to the mic. Audio looks like it's good. But let me know if it's bad again. Sorry if the audio is going bad. And let me grab this other super chat. I'm, I may have missed it, Mr. Saga, but was there ever a Rule 68 trigger for sheet shifting? No, no. Um, sorry. And, mm -hmm. As a pro-res and family law professor told us, that's true. When you get two parties who are absolutely hate each other, yes, and the only ones who are going to win are the lawyers. Yes, we do win. My professor, my professor adds that um, is when the client might need to come to Jesus, Jesus meeting. Yes, this client definitely needs to come to Jesus meeting, unfortunately. But they, they, listen, if they want to spend their money, let them spend their money. Audio is still bad. Audio is still bad. Audio is still bad. You know what? Let me try to... Might be better. Is audio better now? Let me know. Let me know. Brains or bleeding audio, dude. Audio is scratchy. Audio is scratchy. Sounds like smothering the mic. Okay, let me turn down the gain. Oh, yeah. My daughter turned the gain up so much. How's that? Is that better? Let me see. Let me go back to you. Let me go to YouTube and chance check this out. See how see how my mic is sounding now. Technical difficulties. All right. Sounds better now. Sounds better now. Oh, thank God. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Sorry. Mike was blowing up. I didn't know it was blowing up. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me my mic was bad. All right. So I'm um, three minutes in. And I'm just getting into, I was just getting into the file link. Sorry, I, I was wondering what was going on. But thanks for letting me know the mic is, the mic is much, much better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, people. Thank you. Woo. Yeah, my, my, my game was like to the top. So, pardon me. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, if you want a detailed breakdown of this, I'm going to allow you to go check out Uncivil Law's um, video. And also... Um, but I'm going to give you my impressions of what I believe happened. Two things. Number one, this judge, I think, wanted to get rid of this case, right? Because a lot of times, especially when you're talking about personal jurisdiction, judges don't want to keep cases, right? You want to try to get cases off the docket. And if you can get them off the docket easily, that's what you do, right? You, you can say, okay, this is out for personal jurisdiction. So here, the judge goes through the test for personal jurisdiction. I think it's, pretty, so it's, it's a pretty simple thing. It's really, is it fair? Now, one thing, you got to give uncivil law a lot of credit because in this, in the, the judge's reasoning, one of the things the judge definitely brought out was the fact that it seemed like, what's his name, Saltz, 
was talking against himself. He was, he was arguing actually for the other side in the sense of when Todd kept saying, look at all the research Katie's doing. She's looking at this. She's doing background checks. She's doing all of this research. And she's doing it in all these different places, right? Washington, Hawaii, all these different places. She wasn't, it, it didn't give her enough context with the state of Washington. Because that's what you're looking for. You're looking for, are you doing all this stuff in the state of Washington, you know, just for that purpose, to harass somebody in Washington? And that's not what Katie was doing. Essentially, that's what the judge was saying. You know, she was looking everywhere for stuff. And the fact that nothing was really directed, it was directed at the person. KJP, but it wasn't directed at the state of Washington, which you would need to haul KJP into Washington. And it's an uncivil law was saying this from the beginning. You got to give, no matter what you're saying, you got to give uncivil law a lot of credit for this. He said that you can't argue, and you know, you got to give my boy credit. He was saying you can't argue that KJP um, did, you know, was doing was doing this stuff. You know, he was saying you can't argue both sides. You can't argue that. KJP was going in, you know, doing all this research, but then on the other on the other end saying that she didn't do any research. And that's kind of what Saltz was doing in, in this particular action. He was saying he was trying to have it both ways. And I think this is kind of what got him caught up with the personal jurisdiction. The Lori Ann issue with personal jurisdiction also became irrelevant, right? Because as you can see, I'm, let me pull up the part in here where they talked about Lori Ann. And I think Lori Ann became irrelevant because on this part, again, I'm not going to do a lot more because I'm not going to keep you guys here forever. But look at this Lorian, the Declaration of Lorian Barnhart. Miss um, Paulson published numerous videos containing uh, blah, 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 Declaration of Form and Declaration of Lorian Barnhart. Let me see. She mentions Lorian Barnhart. Even crediting these testimonies of these three witnesses, declarations of three Washington viewers, out of the alleged hundreds of thousands, if not millions of times that defendant's videos have been viewed, only highlights the vast discrepancy between the case of six, 600,000 California readers in um, Calder. In, in other words, I'm reading this to say, she's saying, you know, this woman has, has viewers everywhere around the country. And if we are going to give jurisdiction to KJP for this reason, we would, you would then be extending jurisdiction to people like me, to people like Uncivil Law, to people like Emily, right? Jurisdiction would be so encompassing that we would all, all of us, would be, would be, would be, could be called in a court across the country, across all places in the, around the country. And that just wouldn't be fair to me, right? Just because someone, you know, this person, um, also, and thank you for the $50 super chat, but the people who are sending me super chats here, whatever state they're in, I could be holding into, into court. Now, also, you see the judge didn't even talk about agency theory, right? Because I remember when, when that first came up, there, that theory about Lori Ann being the agent. I thought that was BS too, right? It was, that was also BS, the agency theory. That didn't work. And the reason why agency theory didn't work is because Lori Ann wasn't her agent. She was just someone who was watching a YouTube. And just like I have mods here, she was just a mod. So I, I'm just being honest with you. I, you know, Based on just those simple facts, the judge, the judge didn't have to go into a great detail. Even with Lorianne's testimony, think about that. Even with Lorianne's testimony saying, I was doing this, I was KJ's friend, all that stuff, it didn't matter. Because at the end of the day, this was about would it be fair? Is it fair to hold this woman from across the country into a Washington court because she super chatted, you know, a, a friend of hers or a channel member and super chatted. And it just would not be fair. It just, it just wouldn't. So that was, you know, that was the main reason why jurisdiction just di didn't make sense in this particular case. Now, I'm going to I'm going to say this. If this case is refiled in Minnesota, it's a whole nother ball of wax. I think it, I still think and frame this. I still think if it's refiled in Minnesota. This will still be thrown out on a motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim because I don't think you have enough to overcome a motion to dismiss on this defamation case. Not with three people who I think are, are you know, I think Toddy Westbrook is a public figure. I think James Westbrook is a public figure. I don't care what anybody's telling you. James Westbrook is going to be found to be a public figure. And I also think Halo Beauty, right? It's over, right? Three, they, they would have to show, they would then have to show malice. And I think they can't even show negligence. So, you know, for, for a lot of, there's, I know there's a lot of you out there who are hoping that KJP 
um, that KJP bites it, you know, that, that she loses this. And it may happen, right? It may happen. I can't say 100% it won't. But I don't think if you are serious, if you are serious about this case and you are serious about trying to win this case, then I, I, I don't, um, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it happens. I, I, I just, I really just don't think it happens. Honestly, I, I don't see how you get past another motion to dismiss, even if you file in Washington. Now, if, if people, now, if people have questions, please, and you know, you, you guys can ask me because I really don't have a lot of time here because they, they gave me a short amount of time here. So I really can't go through the document. If there's any parts of the document you guys want me to, to go through, that's fine. Let me, I'll talk about the motion for sanctions real quick too. Motion for sanctions. It's irrelevant now, right? It's it's just like you know what what are we going to sanction him? And he really didn't do anything crazy. So I, we we predicted the motion of sanctions would probably be thrown out, right? Everybody knew the motion for sanctions was bad. I think the the shocking part is the motion to dismiss, obviously being thrown out. The last thing is the motion to qualify. If you notice, the judge didn't even talk about the motion to qualify, right? Because it was a stupid motion by Brown. That was stupid. It just, you know, it just was it just what it was. So they didn't even, he did, the, the, she, sorry, she didn't even mention that. So most of your sanctions was, was just thrown out. Um, question. And if you have a question, just make sure you just put question before it so I can know. Um, question. Um, what if she calls it cyber harassment? It's not, listen, it's not what you know, but it's what you can prove. You got to prove that. So you can call it whatever you want, right? Just can't, you know, it's just, it's just not happening. So if... If I super chat and some stuff goes down, you get called out to California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 was the the legal theory that was going on. It wasn't happening. Let's go, bro. I have some Bob Burgers place. <laughs> that was a, that was the legal theory. That was the legal theory. But no, it didn't work out. I think Toddy is going to punish KJ financially to win. If not, um, win. It's a bonus. Ugh. You know what, Rachel? I think I think you're right. Because I, I think this is a, you know this may be a money issue now, but how much money does you know is is let's say this is Toddy really still rolling in dough like that? Does it you know is she really does she really have the fi- the funds to continue this on? Because litigation is a rich man's game. I used to tell clients this: bad settlements are better than good lawsuits. Why? Because litigation is a rich man's game. Unless you can get something out of it, it's not worth it. You know, sometimes you got to settle because it's your pocket's not deep. Now, I understand KJ's pocket's not might not be that deep. And that might 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 have been a strategy here. Let's just blow. Let's just, you know, let's just get her into court and have her pay money and lose all that, you know, lose all that money. You know, she, KJ, KJ is up in some money. This this is this wasn't for free. You know, she had to pay Brown. Brown's getting four fifty an hour. And I'm telling you, Brown, you're talking about maybe 50 grand. You know, how much do you think KJ really spent on this? So she spent about 50 grand at a minimum, I think it is, for Brown services. Brown, don't forget, you had a hearing, you had motions. How many motions did Brown file? How much research did he do? Yeah. Somebody says Toddy's loaded. Well, if she's loaded, you know, then she may not have a problem. But uh, Nate the lawyer, according to Toddy, Toddy is worth 12 million. All right. Well, then, so she's worth $12 million and she's probably spent what? And I think we're underestimating. I, I'm honestly thinking this may have cost Toddy 200000 to get a motion to dismiss. Think about it. Look at all the, let, let's, just, let's, just, let's just brainstorm this, right? Let's, let's, just, let's just factually step back and brainstorm this. Saltsy, he watched all those videos, right? He said he watched all those videos, right? He said, I watched everything, right? I'm, you know, Uni, Uni Rock is my boy. He's, he was on the he was on the he was talking to Unirock for hours, right? Unirock, Unirock. Shout out to Unirock and the crew, Unirock TV. Yo, know, and Dragnot Silvis. Shout out to Dragnot. Um, but he was on the phone with Unirock for hours, talking to him. So you talking about somebody? He was on the phone for Lorianne for eleven hours, then another six hours. They had two lawyers on the phone. Matter of fact, Salter's law firm had two lawyers on every phone call and every correspondence with everybody. How much do money do you think that cost? We're talking about at least 300, I'm thinking two, three hundred thousand dollars easy. Easy. I'm thinking a hundred K. 
is just too little. I'm thinking we're talking about two, three hundred thousand dollars. Easy. Easy. Let's just really let's, let's just keep it. I'm talking about let's keep it 100. As much you know, Salt was on, he was on Twitter more than I am. That and it was his job. Two lawyers, every phone call, every motion. They write in press a page after press a page, interviewing everybody on a motion to dismiss that was thrown out. She got 300k to throw out, you know, two, 300k to throw out on motion to dismiss. She and she's going to do it again. What are you talking about? A half a million dollars to just lose two cases? What's the end game? What's the end game? Is the end game to just make Katie go to court and pay money? Because if Katie doesn't settle, then all that you did is lost money, and the only you've done is give Katie. The, the viewership that, that you don't want her to have, right? If she wanted to keep all this quiet, why sue Katie? It doesn't make any sense. She's only got 135,000 subscribers. Now you've opened up to millions of people, right? Millions of people now know who Katie Joe Paulson is because you sued her for defamation. I don't understand it. Nate, the lawyer, I am still curious as to who's paying. Mm. All right, speculation time. I know nothing. But I think it's Clark Swanson. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I think it's Clark Swanson. I think Swanson, it's got, there's no way that Katie Joy is paying her own legal fees out of pocket. Again, speculation. I don't know this for a fact. I don't think she's paying it out of pocket. Four fifty dollars an hour? He's filing motions just for fun? If you're a client, the first thing you tell you, tell you, hey, listen, how much is this going to cost? You know, here's what I'm working with. We can't be filing everything every day. Brown seemed to have like carte blanche to file whatever the hell he wanted. You know, he filing worthless motions. You know? I don't know. I think Cox Swanson is paying for this. Um, I think it's about the principle that matter. I think Toddy is proving a point, in my opinion. What's that point? How much money can she spend? On a lawsuit that's getting thrown out before. Remember, Katie didn't even deny the allegations, right? <laughs> Just so everybody clear what happened here. She sued Katie Joy Paulson. And this is, I got to tell you, the, the reason why this is so crazy, this case is so crazy. So she sues Katie Joy Paulson, right? She sues her <laughs> for $5 million. Oh my God, $5 million. She sues her. Katie Joy doesn't even say she didn't do the crap. She says, I, you know, so what if I did it? Dismi and they dismiss it, right? And she pays three, three, what, about two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars for that. <laughs> KJP didn't say I didn't do it, right? There's nowhere in that court file that KJP didn't say I didn't defame this woman, right? Matter of fact, the legal standard is yeah, even I defamed her. So what? That's got more or less what he's saying. So what if I did it, right? And she paid three hundred thousand dollars, and KJ didn't even say she didn't do it. Think about that, people. KJ officially in this suit never denied that she did any of this shit. Never denied it. Didn't have to. Think about it. Something to think about. Consider assaults $500 an hour, but local counsel, $350 an hour. But don't forget the other counsel that they had listened to all the phone calls. We got to think about that. That's got to be about four, three, four hundred dollars an hour, right? Um, the hearing of the phone calls, the work. I'd say Tidy spent $270 at a minimum. To the to the to defend um, the jurisdiction, more likely three hundred fifty. Of course, hey, this this is the super chat of the day. It's got to be about that. It's got to be about that. It's got to be. Is this money well spent? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. KJ isn't worth five. <laughs> never mind five hundred thousand. Ugh. Ugh. I, I don't know. KJ also um, filed strikes or equally matter. I think, all right, let's just be fair here. I think KJ's biggest problem now is YouTube, right? Let's all, let's all be, be honest with that. KJ's biggest problem is YouTube. It's not this case now. Because now when these filings, you've got, you know, the whole harassment campaign, full strikes, all that stuff, right? You have all that stuff. And I think if YouTube gets a hold of that stuff, now your channel could be up for grabs. I think that's the case. And I also think, um, 
All right. Again, speculation time. Speculation time. No one, you know, people, oh, they say this. this is speculation time. I think this case was Toddy and James wanted KJ to shut up. So you sue and you see if you can get them to the table and negotiate. You know, you shut, you keep your mouth shut, we'll drop the lawsuit. But KJ got smart and was like, yo, let's just get, if we can get this out on a motion to dismiss, then what? Think about, you know, and, and she was able to do it. She was able to beat the game. Now she can go chill and say what the hell she wants, right? Until they until they go to Minnesota. Um, I um I referenced it above, but why the heck wouldn't they pr um provide an an offer of judgment for Rule 68? Offer for judgment for a couple of pennies. Um uh, most unused rule. I gotta see what is it, FRE? FRE under Rule 68. I gotta check that out. Uh, I don't know. That, now, you, now you got me going. Now you got to be thinking. Uh, it's funny because I actually, um, I was assisted. I assisted in teaching evidence, federal rules of evidence. So I, I knew. I used to know them by heart, but I'm not rule sixty eight. Um, uh, hey John, let me know. Is that are you talking about FRE? Um, let me provide. Now you're gonna make me look that up. Can't look it up now though, but I'm gonna look it up. Um, the point doesn't matter. She has a wild hair up her butt, and money doesn't matter. She's taking her anger out on KJ. Yeah, but she lost. She lost. Think about this. She's just lost. She just lost. That's 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 what this that's what this really was about. I think this was about her trying to shut her up. And KJ was like, "Yo, you know what? I'm just not going to do it." Now KJ looks like the victim, the victim and winner and all that stuff. No matter what you people think, right? Taddy's case was dismissed. And let's say they go do it again, and she loses again. It makes it even worse, right? But if you got the money and you can do it, why not? Then let's not, and just so everybody's clear about this, she's running up two legal bills, right? This is not the only case they're in. People think this is the only litigation they're in, right? This 200 and I'm saying 250,000 at a minimum, right? I'm saying this is about $200,000 a minimum. That $150,000 crap, I, I just don't think, I'm thinking we're talking about 200,000. I'm thinking this is a six figure case. This is times two. Because she's still dealing with the Clark Swanson crap, right? They got lawyers paying for that. They're doing that investigation. That's probably going to go to trial. So she's got these two massive litigation. And this one didn't even go to trial. This one got kicked out of motion to dismiss. Now you're talking about getting another lawyer, going to another state. No, no. It's, it's, think about it. It's, you know, $12 million, that's a lot of money. But, you know, when you're talking about $500,000 of legal bills, you're really cutting in that 12 mil. You know what I'm saying? That 12 mil is being cut. Deep and quick, you know, especially somebody who, who's not really putting up any YouTube videos. Not she's making any money on YouTube right now. And Nathan Lawyer, do you think YouTube will do something with the allegations? I think, I think possible. I think that's if I was KJ, that's be the number one thing I'd be most questionable about, right? Flagging channels, doxing, all that stuff. Those are all terms of service violations. Those are all in court documents. Those are all, and you got now people with it, right? You got people who are saying, hey, I was a part of this, I was doing this. If I was KJ, that would be my um, that would be my biggest issue right now. I'd be scared to death of that, straight up, because you got witnesses, you got witness statements. If YouTube, if the right people at YouTube get a hold of that, then that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Remember, if you if you had a question for me, just hit question in front of this. Tati also said Tasa also made a lot of money off this case. Mm. I know Nate doesn't follow the beauty spear, but lawsuits garnered her sympathy from the Halo boys. Mm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know how much money she's 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 making off this, but you know, three hundred thousand dollars ain't nothing to sneeze at. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it real, one hundred real with you. And plus, don't forget, this is two lawsuits she's filing. You know, people act like this was the only thing that they were doing. This was this is part one of two. So I, you know, I'm thinking we're talking about at least what do we like? I can honestly see 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 them out for a half a mil on these two cases, right? This case is is it was a bond burner. And the other one is a bond burner. You're talking about probably a half million dollars. Now your net worth goes from 12 to 11.5. You know? For what? On a throwaway case? This was a throwaway. And let's be honest. And I'm, let me just make it, make it very clear, too. Michael Saltz, one of his biggest mistakes in this case. Let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. I love Saltz. I think Saltz is a fantastic lawyer. I'm just going to keep it 100. But his biggest mistake was filing... In the wrong jurisdiction. 
right? Let's just let's just call it people. No matter how, if you hate Katie, if you like whoever, let's just call it what it is. You you filed in the wrong spot, you know. Every lawyer one hundred and one knows if you really if you want to make jurisdiction a non-issue, you file where the defendant lives, right? You could have filed this in Minnesota. You filed it in Washington, right? There from he's from California. He was California filing in Washington, right? You got a home run. You want to go to trial. You really want you file it in in, in Minnesota. Now you're just wasting them two hundred thousand dollars to go file it again in Minnesota, and then you you see how crazy it went right now. And if Swanson is still backing KJ and putting that money in, then what's going to happen, right? You still going to be at another two hundred thousand dollars trying to chase the dream again? No, it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. At Nate, like the new studio looking great. What are your plans to trick it out? Now nah, this this is this is a conference hall. See, I'm in a conference room. Oh, it's empty now, though. Yeah, I'm on vacay. I'm with the kids. We was just at a trampoline park earlier when this thing came out. Question: Is there any ethical? If I'm um, Swanson, no. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter who pays. Doesn't matter who pays. Uh, my unpopular opinion is that Salt isn't a great lawyer. Huh? Yeah, it's, that's unpopular. I, I, I think I, th I think Salt is a great lawyer. I think he made the mistake though. He could have filed this in the right jurisdiction, and we could be talking about a trial now. Really, I think it would have been kicked in a motion to dismiss anyway from a competent attorney. But you know, I, I think uh, this is small. This is this is more Salt's mistake than anybody else. I think the biggest mistake was getting involved um, with the trolls. But yeah, the location for sure. Of course, let's you know what it got kicked because it was in the wrong spot. <laughs> you know, that's one thing about law and lawyers. If the lawyer files in the wrong spot, <laughs> then he can say, Well, hey, Bob, who knew, right? Let's go file it in the right spot. What I gotta pay $200,000 because you messed up. That's the reason why I go to a lawyer, right? Where should we file it? Let's file it in Washington and take our chances after 200 after $250,000. Now it's like, Oh. Guess what? We filed in the wrong spot. Let's go. Let's go file it in, in another state. What? I'm about two hundred grand. That's your fault, not mine. That's not the way the law works. We we had a shot. Like damn, she didn't even deny the allegations, right? <laughs> she just sat there and just said, "I was not, wasn't there. It's over." As a matter of fact, they use your. They use. <laughs> they use Salt's complaint to throw out the motion to dismiss. Like how worse can it get for the lawyer? <laughs> I love Salt though. No disrespect. Salts, no disrespect. Um, Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, Rule 68. Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. Um, if you offer refer the rule and it's denied by the plaintiff, and the plaintiff wins by less than the offer, you have to pay the fee. Oh, I, now I've got to look at this rule. It isn't, um, it's an underused rule in the federal courts. I got to check out this rule. Thank you. John O'Brien just, see, this is Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. I'm using I'm, I'm FRA Federal Rules of Evidence. I know those back and forth, but this one I didn't know. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna check that rule out. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you. You just taught me something. You see, you can learn from it. You can you can learn 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 new things every day. Thank you, John. Um, that was good. I, I'm definitely I appreciate that because I'm gonna check that out. Um, question: um, Doesn't Minnesota allow for compensation and losses if Toddy wins? As uh, Toddy was not be able to work, KJ. Ah, let's just be clear. Yes, Minnesota may allow those things, but it all depends on which law we use it. Because, see, if we're going to Minnesota and the defamation actually occurred in Washington, they may be using Washington law, right, in a Minnesota court. It happens all the time, people. So you may be in Washington, but Washington may use the court from where the defamation. So if the defamation happened in Washington, right? It may not be enough to haul Caden to Washington, but they may use Washington law for the case. So, you know, it really depends. Procedural laws, you'll use the, you know, the, the jurisdiction where you're actually having the procedural law. But, um, but the substantive law may be Washington state. So I'm not too sure about that. It's possible. It's possible. But it all depends on which substantive law we're using. If, you know, they may say the defamation happened in Minnesota, but that's hard because you just had a case where you just said all the defamation happened in Washington. See, so, you know, that's what I'm saying. I, you know, all my love for salts, praise salts, but he messed up on this one. Think about it. You know, you know, just don't, I, just don't be mindless drones. Think about it. The court is saying you fucked up and filed in a wrong state. 
and your clients got to pay $270,000. That's what just happened. Essentially, right? You filed in the wrong goddamn jurisdiction. Clients out of the money. <laughs> I feel bad for, for, for Halo. I feel bad for but that's what happened. You're in the wrong court, buddy. Go find, go, go to the right court. It ain't here. <laughs> hey, yo, yeah. And your client just lost $200,000. Nate, the lawyer, which law school was a bit of waste of money? Um, the case of the century, um, this or the case of the century, non set. Ooh. This one isn't over yet. Right? So I don't know. Non sec was a total waste of money, right? It was a total waste of money. That was, that was just a, it, that, that's a monster. That's, that's, that's just a crap shoot. Throw money away. But again, it's another millionaire suit. It's another millionaire suing a nobody. They threw their money away. They didn't. But, they, but in that case, they didn't care. Love Nate, LOL. <laughs> I love you too, bro. Let's see. Toddy can work. She's choosing not to. Big difference. Hey, no shade at Toddy. Trey is Toddy. Toddy Westbrook is fine with bank. She chooses not to work. She can choose to continue to give away half a million dollars on, on lawsuits. Remember, it's not like you go to the store. It's not like you go to like uh, to, to like an apartment store or something. They say, hey, you're in the wrong store and there's no harm, no foul. This was, hey, you're in the wrong court. You know, pay your lawyer $200,000 and have them to go find the right court. That's what we're talking about here. Big difference. Big difference. Um, Nate, the lawyer. Um, you want to vacate without your lamp? Disgraceful. Oh, sorry, Fiona. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Tati is unable to work because? Because she's too beautiful. She's too beautiful. Here's a question. Legal question. Question. Have you noticed when KJ keeps her mouth shut and does her pre-recorded videos, the channel grows, people don't have um, BS to make videos. That's true. That's true. Yeah, she's doing better. She's doing better. Ah. Uh, here we go again. Salts at all. We're usually better writers than Brown. Definitely. If this was a writing contest, Brown would be. Matter of fact, I think Brown would be fired. They'd be looking for a new Brown. Bro, bro. It's just a writing competition. Salts, he destroyed them. Facts. Both sides got caught up in the hype of the detriment of both to the to the detriment of both their clients. Facts again. True. Um, F for fuck's sake. At the end, it was Salt CV Brown show, and it was literal and literally Tati who. That's true, because Tati was the, was the one who was mentioned the least in this in the case. But I think Tati played it right. Um, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. I think Tati played it right though. Tati played it right. She let her she she followed her lawyer's directions, didn't say nothing, let him go through it. But you know, you can say whatever, right? The lawyer filed it in the wrong state. He filed it in the wrong jurisdiction. That's, that's what this case was. You guess what? You're in the wrong court. Good luck to you. That's what happened. Is that where? Just imagine if it was one of you people out there, one of you people in behind this camera, and you get your lawyer, your lawyer's fighting and fighting emotions and fighting emotions, and the judge comes out and says, well, hey, you know what? To be honest with you, you're in the wrong court. You got to go to the court somewhere else. Your case is dismissed. Go file it in the right court. All that time, all that effort, all that money, all those 20 hours, the Lorianne interview, right? The whole Lorianne stuff, irrelevant now, right? What is it? 20 hours, 150 emails, all those correspondence with Lorianne. What, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000? Think about this. The whole $30,000 spent talking to Lorianne, right? That's probably half her yearly salary, whatever Lorianne's making. Thrown away, right? Because now, when they go file in Minnesota, Lorianne's name probably will never be mentioned again. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's the reality of it. I know people are going to be upset, but that's the reality of it. Think about it, people. Think about it. Um, the bottom lid is da 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 <laughs> da 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 <laughs> da 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 da. Um, Nate, I agree. Super chats are great, but for those of us who can't afford to spend one extra cent a month, um, but have questions, I wish they would be shown. Not just the money. That's, hey, listen. I just read this one, right? If you don't have, a, you know, if you put a dot fifty cent super chat, I'll catch it. But I mean, I mean, catch. I've been, I've been, I've been catching a lot of these. That that a lot of these questions. So Heather, come on. If you got a question, I'm trying. I'm catching these. I'm catching them. So just put question in front. See, I almost didn't catch this one because you didn't put question. But if you put question in front, I'm catching them. I'm um, question. 
Swanson's paying KJ's legal fees against speculation. Um, he is a party to the suit. No, as a partner, Halo Beauty, uh, the vitamin company. It sounds like a conflict. Uh, no, not really. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe some. You know, I don't know. Maybe it could be some. If he's a board member, maybe there's some judiciary stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Possible, possible. But you got to prove it, right? And who's paying your lawyers? Attorney client privilege. So it's possible, possible. But I don't know. We'll we'll see with the Swanson case. But I. But you know, if he is a, if if they have like a, a corporation and he's on the board, then he would have a duty, a fiduciary duty, and a duty of loyalty, too. So, if possible. That's a good, good, that's, that's actually a pretty good, um, hmm. I would say, yeah, I, I have to think about that, but that's, that's a, that's a really, Patricia, that, that's a, that's a really good, um, ch- that's a really good message. I, I think you're right. And they, and they the lawyer, true winners here. YouTube, um, for the hours of content, yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You know, this, that money was well spent for me. Great. Um, the chat, because of entertainment, yes. And Lorianne, because she's out now. Oh, Lorianne should be like, oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. You know Lorianne is happy. You know Lorianne is happy. Lorianne's like, they ain't got to say my name again. Because this whole case was really the Lorianne case. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm glad Toddy was able to continue to pay a good wage for her workers. <laughs> Sorry to hear she's depressed. Oh. Not going to buy her vitamins though. Ah, that's right. Hey, if you want to know, want to know about her vitamins, go listen to KJ. KJ has a very good <laughs> review on the vitamins. <laughs> Remember, if you have a question, just put question. We just have the conversation here. Heather McDonald answer. Um, he's answered a bunch. People have a way to have creators. Half the people that troll Katie came for silly reasons like that. That's true. Yeah, yeah, people saying I'm not answering, I'm only answering super chat questions. I'm answering, I've been answering like every question I've been seeing. So yeah, come on, you know. Give me, give me, give me a break, people. I can only answer them, you know, one at a time. Nate the lawyer, um, when will your new line of vitamins come out? I don't know. I'm, I don't I don't want to be sued. I don't want to be sued. <laughs> For Halo Beauty, right? Uh, my positive in all this, I found Nate on Civil Law. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. I think they did um, did not anticipate that Katie would act like a person who had money to burn. Facts. This this is a fact question. I think I think they didn't think she had money to burn. Um, this is part of the case. Should not have been so costly. Of course, this case should have been so costly. To be honest with you, I think um, if we, if we're just talking about the the cost, the Brown's cost, I would actually be challenged. Right. Hold on, let me get this one first. Sorry, I'm, I'm just li- I'm lining them up, so I'm putting this up. I think if you're talking about just cost, overall cost, if I was, I would be more upset at Brown than I would Salts, because I think a lot of Brown's costs were unnecessary. This is, you file a motion to dismiss, and that's it. You leave it alone, and then the court would have probably ruled the same way, right? Because all this other stuff past that, if you look, when you look at the the, the ruling. It almost seemed irrelevant, right? It was really just that motion to dismiss. That was it, right? It was it was just based on his motion to his reply. That's really the court only the court used in, in that reason. All that subsequent stuff was BS, right? So really, if you think about it, all the subsequent filings by Brown were meaningless and just cost money. They were really just to cost money. They were they were meaningless. Question. If Toddy falls again, all right, which is probably going to be in Minnesota, um, then Lorianne and Nat don't have to be involved if they don't want to. No, of course not. You know, they, they, they were Lori. They, get this: Lorianne was only relevant to the jurisdiction issue. She's not relevant at all to to the defamation issue. She's just not. Not from you know. Maybe there might be something that comes out that you know KJ told I'm going to defame, them, but you know you'd have to. You know, I don't know what Lorianne's got, but Lorianne's involvement was just for the jurisdiction issue. Um, question. Um, you're aware Swanson is a Halo partner. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. But that doesn't mean he could. He couldn't be flip. He couldn't be paying for this lawsuit, though. I'm assuming he wouldn't. I'm assuming, you know, maybe he wouldn't. But again, I was saying speculation time. Speculation time. Somebody with deep pockets for Brown to file. Brown was filing like he had somebody with deep pockets backing, paying his bills. You don't do that. Unless somebody would be, de- unless some person could pay. Now, could KJ, is KJ making that much money off YouTube? You know, I'm talking about this is like a $50,000 hit. 
from what Brown, Brown, 450 an hour? He spent all that time with Laurie Ann, all that time following his, all that time on those conferences with Katie. He actually went to the status conference, which we remember we were all watched and heard. Well, that takes time. Well, that's a lot of money. That's about, you know, she's paying, she's, she paid some money. Somebody, I'm thinking somebody with deep pockets flipped this, you know, hit her up. Question. I mean, the case, um, the case, the partner is bringing against Toddy exactly that. They are sinking their loyalty and fiduciary duties. So it would be weird for Swanson to pay KJP. It would be. It would be. It would be. But again, I don't know what's going on. You know, it, I'm saying it could be going in the background. If it's not Swanson, some I'm thinking some some there's got to be some deep pockets here, people. Unless KJ um, KJ could just be independently wealthy and be doing this YouTube thing for fun. I just don't know. But you know, as a YouTuber myself, who's had some really good months on YouTube, I'd keep spending 150 grand. It's just I just don't see it. I, I, or spending fifty thousand huh, dollars uh, and not even going to trial. It just doesn't make sense. If maybe it makes sense for people in the chat, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Question: If it was, um, if it was you, how would you rebuild and structure your stronger arguments? Oh, um, I don't think Salts could have done a better job in laying out the arguments for Halo Beauty. I don't think he could have done a better job. I think his, I think what he did. Let me just be very clear: Saltsy did an excellent job. At executing this case, witnesses. He he did the most he could with you, but he just filed it in the wrong spot. I know it sounds stupid. I know now it's it's easy to say, but he filed. Think about it. He filed his case in the wrong jurisdiction. That that's what it is. That's what the court's saying. Guess what? You this is a great rewritten case. Everything you said was wonderful, but you filed in the wrong spot. So filing it in the right spot. <laughs> that's the number one thing, right? And then number two, I don't think I don't think he can get. He's got to show some type of actual malice. I don't, I, I don't think he can. I think this case is a loser. I think even if this wasn't this didn't go down or for personal jurisdiction, I think the case was a loser anyway. I just think it was. It just was. Um, question. Um, what would the title of this vid be if Mr. Barnes got it wrong and you still got it right? I don't know. It all depends. But most of the cases Barnes gets wrong and I usually get right. It'll probably be, you know, Burning the bonds or something like that. I don't know, but I don't know. But Barnes is a little political with his, you know, with his predictions. But think about this: the past, most of the predictions, Barnes get wrong, and I'm generally getting it right. So it's you know, it just is what it is. I think Barnes is looking at it too too much of a political lens than I am. Barnes is another attorney who you know gets them wrong a lot. Um, Nate, and Nate, but Barnes is Barnes is. But I want to make it very clear with Barnes though: if you need a lawyer um, to represent you in court. You want Barnes. I'm just saying Barnes' predictions are generally wrong, but Barnes is a hell of a lawyer. I think he's, I think he's probably one of the best lawyers that I, that I, that I know. Him, Saltsy's probably one of the best lawyers that, that I've, I've, I've seen, too. But Barnes is really good, too, even though he just gets shit wrong. But it is what it is. Nate the lawyer, um, if you think that way, Brown increased Toddy's bill about $200,000. Facts. Facts. Um, and his own class bill <laughs> with all that. Yes, yes, press of pays emotions. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I think Brown, well, I think I think Brown, if this was a strategy, like I kept telling on civil law the other day, if this was a strategy, one of the best strategies in the world, rack them up, inflate their prices on BS, and you know you get it thrown out for personal jurisdiction. I don't think, I don't, I think the personal jurisdiction was a loser. Hey, CJ, <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Yeah, yeah, hey, I called it, but, you know, a lot a lot of people are going to say, you know, I don't know what they're going to say, but, yeah, I called it. I, I, I thought it's, <sighs> I'll say this, and I, and I do want to be honest with everyone. My problem with this case was that I think this was such emotional, especially for the community, right, for our community, for our YouTube community. It's just such an emotional because KJ – has a lot of people who just don't like her. And Brown's representation with this was so bad, right? Brown, Brown's motions were bad. Everything he was doing was just horrible, horrible stuff. Like, it was just like, what are you doing, man? What are, Brown, what are you doing? You can win this case a lot easier and you don't have to spend all this money. But he did, and he won. So now you got a happy client who said, you know, I don't care, it cost me $50,000, $100,000. You won, right? But he really didn't win. 
You just got really a stay of execution until we get to Minnesota, which I think you can really win, right? And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it, I, I just know it's extremely hard to haul people across country in a, into foreign jurisdictions. It just is difficult to do. And when I saw this case, I said two things, and you guys were there, and everybody criticized me for it. Everybody said, Nate's in a tank for Katie. Don't trust his legal opinion. I said, this is going to go down for personal jurisdiction because I think that's the loser. And I think, number one, the personal jurisdiction. And I think, number two, on the merits, if it goes to the merits, it's going to be thrown out there. It was thrown out on personal jurisdiction. So, But they, thank you for the super chat. Question. I thought jurisdiction could be based upon the location of the plaintiff. No. Jurisdiction is based on the location of the defendant on where it actually happened. So because the thing is, is that you have to have a court that has that has the ability to hold the defendant accountable. So if the defendant doesn't, does, you know, if the court doesn't have any jurisdiction, it can't hold the defendant accountable. And that's kind of where you're at now. So here the court is saying we don't have we can't hold this defendant accountable because we, you know, that defendant doesn't live within our jurisdiction. So that's why it'll probably the simplest thing is going to go file with the, where the defendant lives because the court has automatically has what they call general jurisdiction. For, for those of you who want to learn a little law, I'll teach you a little law right now. There are two concepts in, in this type of jurisdiction. There's, there's general and specific when you're talking about personal jurisdiction. General jurisdiction is I is when you live at a place, right? If I like if I, I live in New York. So if someone sues me in a New York court, then that court has general jurisdiction. You can sue me for anything as long as obviously as long as you you have a claim. You can sue me for anything, right? Sue me, that's what they call general jurisdiction. But if I go to, let's say, New Jersey and punch somebody in the face or something like that, they can only sue me specifically for that, for that, for that particular instance, right? For, for it, it's called, it's, 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 it's specific based on those claims, right? So even in here, Katie wouldn't have been able to be sued for anything, but just specifically that specific thing that she did in that form, not everything. So that's why it's not, it's specific jurisdiction, not general. So here they were trying to get her on specific jurisdiction, but they couldn't because, you know, it just, it just wasn't working. The, the constitution doesn't allow it. So, but they, thanks for all the questions. So I'm going to have to scroll down because I, <laughs> the, the guy's been waving at me to, to get the hell out of here. Thank you for coming to member CJ, Nate, the lawyer, great prediction. For a fake lawyer, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was, I was, I was a fake lawyer. <laughs> and this is like, this is like my, my fourth one in a row. I'm like knocking them down back to back. But hey, hey, hey. yeah, this is this is a fake, fake, another fake prediction from the fake lawyer. Um, International Shoe and Burger King. Yeah, they, they said they definitely said that. Thanks for Sif Pro flashbacks, Nate. Hey, I mentioned Burger King. Right, I mentioned Burger King back in the day, back when this was all about jurisdiction. But I knew I, it just, I, I, yeah, this 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 was going down on jurisdiction um, theories. So see, banked um, on getting some discovery to prove minimal context in Washington, probably. Um, Brown's excessive motions derailed that. Very good, very good point. Damn good point. That's a good point. Salts lost focus on the need for discovery. Bolstered the jurisdiction argument. You got to be an attorney. That, uh, yes, I agree with everything you just said. Was uh, it was um, was it strategic on Salt's part to file this way, knowing Washington um was not likely to just um was not likely just to see what Katie was knowing. She will let me see. She will show her hand and spend her money. Hmm. Possibly, but, but, um, she didn't because she didn't answer the lawsuit, right? She didn't deny the allegation. She didn't show a hand. She just said the court didn't have jurisdiction. So it couldn't have been. The reason why I don't, I don't think this could have been sold to strategy because let's not forget people. This was KJ did something bad, right? And KJ said the court doesn't have jurisdiction. So what? And the court said, you know what? She's right. We can't, we don't have jurisdiction. So now, so she didn't, she doesn't, she didn't show a hand, right? We, we, we're we never actually never going to know what happened because she never actually showed her hand. Yeah, it's National Show Burger King. <laughs> I got that one already. Um, let me see if I get anybody else. Remember, if you have a question, a question, I'm going to go like another 10 minutes because this guy's at the door. He's like, he's like, you know, I see you. I see you. I see you. I'm almost out of here. I'm almost out of here. I'm about to, I'm about to do Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter.
<laughs> it's a black guy. It's a black guy. So, so don't worry. He's a black guy. You want to come over here on camera? I don't know. You're working, right? Um, Nate the lawyer. Um, 3L, not an attorney. Graduating in May. Hey, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I was there. I was there. I was there. International shoe. You, you, you've been living it. You've been living international shoe. <laughs> All right. All right. So somebody else had a question. Let me make sure I get them just knocking down all these questions. Remember, a question first, and then let me, then whatever you're going to say, say second. Violation of oath of office is grounds to remove from office both judges, and members of Congress, publicly. All right. I don't know what that's about. Theory. Um, they didn't expect that the case would be so expensive under salts. Tried to drag in Lorian. If we throw out throw out her out of the lawsuit, it's pretty much a usual lawsuit. Facts, facts, facts. And I'm not a hater of KJ, no, I'm not a fan of the case, but it's highly entertaining. Oh, facts, wax, facts, facts. All right. Well, listen, guys, at the end of the day, I just want everybody to really understand from this just the most simplest, simplest form of what happened in this case. We had a great filing by Saltz, Fa fantastic filing, right? We had a fantastic filing by Saltz, fantastic filing. Got the tea, got everybody riled up, but at the end of the day, the simplest thing happened. He filed it in the wrong courtroom. Think about it, whatever it is not. Now, that may think about it, but he filed it in the wrong court. I know when you say it out loud, it makes you feel like you're crazy. You're like, yeah, look at this lawyer. He's a, you keep saying he's the best lawyer in the world. How can he file a damn case in the wrong court? He did. He filed it in the wrong court. And the court said, yo, filed it in the wrong goddamn court. Go file it in the right court. It's in another state. But this is not here based on what you said. And again, he didn't even use Brown's real stuff. He just said, based on what you said. You know, the, oh, the, the, the judge, she said, based on what you said, you really don't have it. You're in the wrong court. So at the end of the day, I don't care what anybody else is telling you, right? This case came down to this was a beautiful case, but you're in the wrong court. That cost about $200,000. That's what it was. And my prediction was just that. She's in the wrong court. And I, I, would, I would say part of me has to believe, part of me does believe that Solsi also knew he was in the wrong court. He had to know. He had to know. But he, he, he gave it a shot. It's applying Kate about 200, 200 grand just to know it, right? Nick is in Minnesota, yeah, and YouTube knowledgeable. Uh, do you think he might accept the case? If, if they if they pay him <laughs> they pay him fifty, sixty thousand dollars to tell if they filed here in New York, I would take the case. Right? It's like you know, they're paying hundreds of thousand dollars. I'm filing motions for, for anything. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is Nick thing, Nick's thing. No, I would take it. I would take it. I'm telling you this, if, if if I filed that motion to dismiss for Katie, we would be talking about the interwebs talk would be a whole different story. Because we'd be talking about the case being thrown out. You you would see exactly like like there would be the, the defamation would be done. But and I think Nick Nick is competent. Nick is very competent. I think Nick Nick would kill this case. Salt so, Salty so wouldn't have such an easy time. Please oh, thank you, thank you, Kate. Thank you, thank you. Uncivil laws in Texas. So another expense. That's true. That's true. Well, listen, guys, I, 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 I am sorry about the mic issues early. I'm sorry I'm in the, not in my usual spot. I'm glad you guys came to hang out with me today. But I got to go now and go to bed so I can get ready tomorrow and, get, and do some traveling. But if you guys like this, you know, give me a like, share, subscribe. Thank you for those who did Super Chat today. And at the end of the day, you know, I, you know this, was, this was fun to cover. This was fun to cover. I'm happy for, for KJ that, you know, she got she got her case dismissed. But I'm also happy that at the end of the day, this was really entertaining. This was a fun case. And it was fun to see it kind of go through, work its way through. But I do think at the end of the day, you know, if we're just being honest with what happened here, this was a high-priced attorney with a lot of money and a lot of cred who filed the case in the wrong court. Think about that. Think about that. Really, think about that. This was a, this was a high-priced attorney. Where the judge said, "Hey, you filed it in the wrong case." So all that stuff about Lorianne, all that stuff about this, all that stuff. Everybody's, oh my God. 
at the end of the day, you're in the wrong courthouse. Go find the right courthouse. And the client is like, damn. <laughs> That's all she wrote. So at the end of the day, I'm out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this mic because out of all the cats who's watching and following this case, the only one who said this was going out on jurisdiction was Nate the lawyer. I'm out.